What was it like growing up in America as half Japanese, like your friends, your family, the language, your school? Yeah. I think we both would like to live in Japan for some time, but maybe not forever because of... Yeah. Since I don't look white or fully Asian, I felt like I looked like no one. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. Today, I'm going to interview half Japanese raised outside Japan. How often do they visit Japan? Which language do they speak? What was it like uh, growing up as half Japanese in foreign country? I mean, not in Japan. Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. And you can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, let's get started. Can I introduce your background first? Uh, okay, so I'm half French and half Japanese and I was born in France and I came to Japan when I was 10 years old. I lived here for three years but I was going to the French school and then I came back to France and now I'm here for the summer vacation. What are you doing here in Japan every day? Before, there was my sister with me, so we were just visiting a lot. We went to Osaka, where there's my grandparents. Oh, okay. uh, Yeah, mostly just visiting, um, seeing my relatives and yeah. Do you have like Japanese friends a lot here? Full Japanese? Yeah, like, like, like me, born and um, raised in Japan. I have a few full Japanese friends that I met when I lived on Hachijojima. A lot of my friends are half uh, like me, French and Japanese. Oh, I see. So we speak in French. And in France, what's it like? Living there. Uh, being half, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your friends and the family, school. Uh, people definitely notice that I'm Asian, but some people think I'm full white also. Oh. Yeah, it depends. But most people think I'm Asian. So when I was growing up, uh, there was a lot of misconceptions about Japan. It wasn't very famous like now. So a lot of people thought Japan is, was like China. So a lot of people were like, oh, you're Chinese, you eat dog and stuff like that. Uh, but as you grow up, as I grew up, uh, Japan became a lot more popular because of anime culture and everything. So now it's more like people are fan of Japan, like they like Japan. I see. But now, like now in Japan, like people see you like as not like full Japanese, right? People think I'm full gaijin. Usually, they don't even think I'm half Japanese and uh, they speak to me. It depends, honestly, like a lot of the time they speak to me in Japanese, but uh, sometimes um, if I'm in a convenience or something, sometimes they speak to me in English okay. as well. Yeah. In France, what, what do you do? Uh, what I do, I yeah. study, yeah. You study? So I'm in my first year of uh, university. I'm studying Japanese studies. So I'm learning the writing, um, also grammar and also history and other Things, everything is about Japan. Like, what made you decide to do that? Um, <clears throat> I wanted to study Japanese because I thought if I didn't study now, I would never be able to learn uh, all the kanji because it's very hard and it's time consuming. So I thought that if I didn't dedicate like three years to really learn um, to speak Japanese, I would never be able to be fluent. So yeah. Well, with my studies, I can probably do a study abroad in Japan for one mm -hmm. year. So maybe I would do that, but um, I don't know, I have to see, but part of the reason why I started learning Japanese was so that I would be able to eventually come back here one day to live, if I want to. Oh. oh. Yeah, because I don't know what I want to do later, so. What do you think your personality? You're completely French or like Japanese? Uh, I feel definitely that I'm more French in my personality and but I don't feel like I'm fully, fully French because when I'm with like fully white French people, uh, I can tell that there's a little difference, like cultural differences. But definitely, I don't think I am fully Japanese in my mindset. Uh, I think a lot of half is because I watch your videos. They talk about the difficulty of identity issues. And I mean, that's a real problem. I think that's a problem for everyone, even like non half of people. Mm -hmm. But also, I think for me, uh, as a half, I had more issues towards my appearance because I was very confused since I don't look white or fully Asian. I felt like I looked like no one. So I, I wish um, when I was a child, I wish that I was white. I think so, because I wanted to be like blonde and having blue eyes and everything. But as I grew up, I wanted to be like fully Asian, but I, I don't look fully Asian, you know, so it was hard until I could just accept myself as just half. Thank you so much. 
Um, you wanna introduce yourself in Japanese? Yeah, I can. Oh, in, in French, you wanna? Oh yeah, I can do that. Bah, bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Lily, j'ai 19 ans et je suis franco-japonaise. Uh, can, you can you say the same thing in Japanese so I can put subtitle? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, hajime wa shite, watashi no namae wa Lily desu, fluency jin to nihon jin desu, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for your time. Can you introduce your background first? I am Kai, aka BFN Tokyo Trill. Uh, I make music. I'm in Japan. Thank My you. My friend Takashi. Thank you. <laughs> when I talk to him on the street and he's rapper and I have listened to his song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's. yeah, I'm half Japanese. My dad is American and my mama is Japanese. And you were born and raised? I was born and raised in America, Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. And then now you live in Japan, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so first of all, what was it like? Growing up in America as half Japanese, um, what was it like? Like your friends, your family, the language, your school? Yeah. I guess at school, well, my family, my mom's Japanese and I live with my mom. So we usually speak just uh, Japanese, or bo actually both English and Japanese mm. was spoken at the house. And then at school, obviously, it's English, like all my friends, all my homies. So you didn't go to Japanese school? Actually, I did it like on Saturdays. You continue going? Just on Saturdays and not like for like maybe three years, four years. Okay. But I didn't really study. I didn't study shit. What did you do I, then? I just like fuck around. Like. <laughs> With the friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to go to Japan since I was like a little ass kid to see every, all kinds of different mm. keshiki, like mm -hmm. all kinds of different atmospheres. So you can have different perspective too. Yeah, way different perspective. Because yeah. most people in Pittsburgh, never, they never leave Pittsburgh. Uh, they never seen. It's countryside? No. Not really, but there's no like there's no Asian people at that uh, time. So there's no diversity. just yeah, just black, white. Okay, okay. Never leave Pittsburgh. Okay. Play sports and drink. That's it. Like just sometimes there'll be like racist type shit, but uh like konnichiwa, like so the like Balkan so, so people can tell you're from you you you're half Japanese. Yeah, mostly black people can tell. Yeah. Okay. Like, what the, like this guy's kind of weird. Like. Uh, just got, like or, racism. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so you never care. Yeah. I don't, oh. I, actually, I think. Deep down inside, like my subconscious, I think I kind of cared, because mm. like I think I developed a little bit of a complex, uh, like kind of like defensive. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm. It's getting better now, though. Oh, uh, so you get stronger. Yeah, I got stronger for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the next part is life in Japan. Yeah. So you came here six years ago. Right? Oh, can I ask your age first? Uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So you came here twenty-one. Yeah. And did you visit? Japan often before coming to Japan six years ago. Yeah, every every year. Every year. P pretty much every year. Well, actually, but when I was in Japan, the bullying was worse than like America. Oh, so like, oh yeah, it, it's it's two months. So you you went to Japanese school too. At uh, one time, yeah, oh. I was fighting everyone. Oh. Everyone was just wants to fight me, like always, blah 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 blah, like oh. you know, like because I look different. So and and I didn't act Japanese. I act like a fucking <laughs> American. Yeah, guys, you nigga. So I was like, I was just fighting everyone. Six years ago, yeah. what was the reason to come to Japan for to live uh, to live in uh, Japan? One was like my family. My family was in Japan, mm. so I wanted to see them. Music's the other reason. I saw Ko on YouTube, and I was like, oh, "That shit's fucking crazy." I like him too. Yes, yeah, I was like, "Wow, yeah. this is amazing." Okay, and I'm like, "I can do that too." Like, what did Dikinjo do out there? I just went straight to, straight there. I started recording here. Oh, oh, about the language. About yeah. the language. You speak Japanese like native, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. We can talk in Japanese from now on so they can, you know, com compare. <laughs> yeah, my English and my Japanese. Eh, my friends are more Japanese now. Now, I'm not Japanese. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Can I introduce you guys' background first? Um, we have Japanese, we're from Germany, or we live in Germany, and now we're, we're visiting. visiting. Yes. Okay. You are born and raised in Germany? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh. I, should, I should mention, you guys are sisters? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I forgot okay. <laughs> yes. to say it, we're okay. sisters. <laughs> so now you came to Japan for kind of traveling or visiting your grandparents and stuff? Yes. In, on, only in Tokyo? No. No, our grandparents, they live in Mie. Mie? So they live in the countryside. So we're flying to Tokyo. Now we're traveling a bit here and then we're going to go to our grandparents' house. Okay, okay. Germany people can tell you are half Japanese. 
No. Oh, no. No. When you say you're half Japanese, like what's their reaction? Very nice. They a lot of friends like anime or manga, mm. uh, but they also th uh, think about like strict parenting um. and stuff and school and you have to do this and that education. Uh. Yeah. Like, do you have any Japanese friends here? Not really. Not me, but she lived here. So. Oh. Yeah, I've she I've been here more times because she's a little bit younger, so it's the first time now like having fun in Tokyo and stuff. I want to take her with me, but I've been here sometimes and I made some um, Japanese friends here. How? How do you make? Um, mostly I stayed in a hostel and there I met people and then I met some other people from there. But maybe the most people are Japanese, but they lived on the, they all speak very good English, for mm. example. So um, a lot of half Japanese friends as well, like other halves. I assume, including me, most of Japanese people cannot tell you're half Japanese. Yeah, what do you think, like, life in Japan as half Japanese, even though just traveling, like, you feel like something different or you want to say something? Uh, yes, so I think we have a little bit of privilege because we're halfus um, and we're white and I think that's like, for Japanese it's really nice, but now I have like, dyed hair or piercings and nails so it's not Besides stereotypical like, good yeah yeah Japan. yeah it's like i don't Very know different. yeah it's true okay. but i think we're positive about living in japan i think we both would like to live in japan for some time but maybe not forever because of yeah. all the work like stress from working and stuff that's a little different okay. yeah it's hard the beauty standards and stuff I don't really like those things. Yeah. yeah, if you have purple hair in Japan, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's kind of, it might be difficult to, you know, get a normal job, I think. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. in Germany, it's also, like, mm. hard, yeah. hard, but not as hard as yeah. you, mm. yeah. Since you're from Germany, I guess your personality is, you know, German type, but yes. is there any parts of your personality that you feel you are, like, very Japanese? Like, like, shy or, like, polite? Like anything? Um, not shy. My friends always tell me I say sorry too much. I always say sorry, yeah, even though it's not yeah, my fault. Yeah. Oh, like, very Japanese. Very Japanese. <laughs> yeah, my friends are like, no, me, it's not your fault. But I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry. So I think that's very Japanese. Okay. And we, I think we both take care of people around us a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, also Japanese people, they want everybody to feel yeah. good, to be yeah. comfortable. Yeah. So we are very empathic, I guess. Yeah. Like say that. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. So. Thank you so much. Last question. You guys speak Japanese, right? Yes。で、日本語は、なんか自分のレベルはどれぐらいですかなんかネイティブまでは行かない。絶対にネイティブじゃないけど、まあまあ、なんか喋れるけど、そう、そう。日本で仕事はできると思いますか無理と。無理。